Hi guys, a very good morning, very good afternoon, very good evening everyone. I hope that all of you are doing super well and I hope that all of you are doing super great. Before we are going to start with anything, let's just take a look at today's agenda. What are the different things that we are going to cover? Today we will be talking about what is PT, that what exactly is penetration testing. Uh, you know, different phases of penetration testing we have, penetration testing types and penetration testing tools. So before we start, let me just introduce myself, guys. My name is Deepak. Uh, my full name is Deepak Sharma. I have 15 plus years of experience in the same field. I have designed, deployed, implemented solutions for various organizations. In addition to that, I have certain patents on my name. Okay, guys, let's get started. Now, guys, this is going to be, uh, again, a small session outline. So where you're going to learn about penetration testing, different phases of penetration testing, penetration testing types, its tools, and one other tool like Metasploy. Now, what exactly is a penetration testing? Penetration testing, uh, before that, what exactly uh, is a requirement to have penetration testing? Now, once you're going to guys have an application, the applications, of course, can have different types of vulnerabilities. Now, what exactly is a vulnerability? Your vulnerability is a loophole. It's a bug. Um, it's a weakness in the application that you're going to have. So your um, application can have different type of vulnerabilities and uh, your uh, penetration testing is used just to make sure that whatever the different type of vulnerabilities that you are going to have within the given environment, those vulnerabilities can be, you know, like remediated. So entire end goal of penetration testing is to make sure that, um, you know, I mean, whatever the kind of vulnerabilities, whatever the kind of weakness that you are going to have, those vulnerabilities or those weakness can easily be, you know, you can find it out and you can confirm that that is actually a weakness. Like, for example, guys, if I'm going to say that in your application, there is a weakness. If someone is going to try username as one, password as one, uh, it so going to work now that's a weakness that you have as a penetration testing what i will do is i will perform the exploitation on that on that weakness where if i'm going to supply password as username as one password as one i will be able to perform the exploitation so that basically happens in the case of pt which is penetration testing wherein whatever the weakness that you're going to have in the application you are going to exploit that weakness out so the entire end goal of penetration testing is to discover the vulnerabilities and uh, to make sure that you are uh, informing your staff that this is actually a vulnerability and what kind of complications, repercussions you can have if this vulnerability is not being remediated and you are going to test for the security compliance. Now talking about what are different phases of penetration testing. There are different type of phases that we are going to have for penetration testing. The first is um, the planning and reconnaissance. Whenever we are going to perform penetration testing, you are going to plan the phase out. Like, um, you know, I mean, you are going to gather the information about your target, you are going to uh, plan it properly. Once that is done, then you're going to, uh, you know, perform a scanning and discovery wherein you're just going to scan the environment and you're going to perform the discovery on the entire system. Once that is done, then you're going to perform exploitation. And after that, once that is done, then you're going to have a risk analysis and uh, then you're going to ask for the suggestions. And last but not the least, you're going to have a report generation. Clear? Now, moving on uh, and understanding this phase one by one. Starting with the planning phase, guys, like I said, in the case of planning, what you're going to do is you're going to perform information gathering, like um, where you're going to perform information gathering, uh, you will try to get the information about your target, and based on that, uh, you are just you are going to make the attack happen. So here in this case, you're going to use different type of testing methods that you want to use, uh, your goals to test, you're just going to get the information about your target. Once that is done, then you're going to move on in the scanning phase, you're going to perform static analysis or dynamic. In the case of static analysis, uh, you, are just, you are not going to run the application. You are going to have the source code. You are going to have internal architecture. You are going to have entire information about the environment. And based on the information, you are going to perform exploitation. But you will not run the application. Dynamic is just reverse of it. In the case of dynamic, consider this like a black box testing, where in this case, you are not going to have internal information. You will have zero information about the source code, internal analysis. Every information, you have a zero information on that. So here in this case, you're going to inspect the application code by running it, but you're not going to have uh, any internal architecture details. So it's going to be completely dependent, dependable on running of the application. Now talking about execution phase. So this is a very important phase where the actual damage is going to be done. And the uh, next thing you're going to have is the analysis phase where the activities are going to be involved in this phase. And the last is basically the output phase. So the result of annotation testing are going to be compiled into the detailed report in this phase. The reporting is very important factor in this case so that uh, later on we can know that what kind of harm it has been done. Now moving on, talking about uh, penetration testing types. Now, uh, penetration testing can be of different types. There are different ways through which the penetration testing can be there. So um, the first is network services. 
So um, in the case of network services, like uh, you are going to have internal application, and uh, in the case of network services, um, you, you are going to have, uh, you know, like the different networks and all that you're going to scan. Second is a web application where you're going to scan the web application, and once the application is going to be scanned, then you're going to have the entire result. Third is a wireless where you're going to um, scan the wireless components like the Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi and all in order to find out the vulnerabilities. Next is social engineering that you're going to scan the environment to find out the weakness and last, last is a client side. Now, there are different type of, uh, you know, penetration testing. So now you have a black box testing. Black box testing is a testing wherein you are not going to have any knowledge about the internal environment. You're not, you don't know the source code. You don't know, um, you know, the internal architecture. You have a zero information about it. So black box testing is a testing where you are going to have zero knowledge about the given environment on which you have to perform a test. Wherein, uh, in the case of white box, you are going to have complete information about the target. You know, the source code, you are going to have every uh, information about the target. You know, just white box testing is generally done by those people who are working internally in the organization. And the last one that you are uh, going to have is a gray box. So gray box testing is um, a testing which is going to, uh, you know, I mean, is a testing where you're going to have a partial knowledge. So you are not going to have be like that where you have zero knowledge. It's not going to be like that you have full knowledge, but it's going, you are going to have partial knowledge. Now, moving on, uh, different type of penetration testing like we discussed. Uh, for these different type of penetration testing that we are going to have, it requires different type of penetration testing strategies that we require. Like for example, um, uh, you know, like for wireless, we are going to have different uh, strategies because we can't use the similar kind of strategies for all different type of application. Different application will require different use case and different uh, strategies for that. So like uh, if you are going to perform external penetration testing or internal, uh, the approaches are going to be different because in the case of external, you are going to have external domain, uh, domain facing in the case of internal, we are going to have this, uh, you know, I mean, facing in the, in, the, in the internal way and you can have different type of tools available for that. Like we have various tools like um, Nessus, uh, you know, which is basically a scanner, uh, which will help you to find out the vulnerabilities, Nessus, Qualys, different type of tools. For scanning, if I talk about Nmap, Zenmap, Zenmap is a, a GUI version of it, OpenSSL, which is an open source, with the help of which you can do a key generation and all. You have Wireshark, which is a, um, you know, I mean, uh, a packet capture tool with the help of which you can just capture, uh, you know, you can capture the packet. Here. Let me just uh, show you one small example, guys small demonstration which will give you more clarity. Now, this is basically a website uh, wherein you can just simply generate the different type of, uh, you know, keys. Like here in this case, let's say, uh, you know, I mean, I'm a hacker. So uh, I was able to see that, uh, you know, I mean, uh, what exactly is the key that you have generated. So here in this case, if I want to perform an encryption, so in order to perform an encryption, I'm going to use the public key. So like I'm going to enter the data which I have to encrypt. Like for example, I have to encrypt my bank account number and this is the expiry and this is a CVV. So I'm going to get this encrypted with the public key. And here we go, the encrypted output. Once that is done, let's say, you know, the hacker was able to eavesdrop your communication. So hacker will be able to, you know, simply put the cipher text and he will be able to decrypt the entire data with the key that you are going to have. And here is the original data, which is being produced, which is being decrypted. So that's the way the hacker can try to, you know, I mean, break the entire uh, security and he will be able to see the entire uh, data in between and he will be able to change any kind of data or sensitive data that you're going to have. Okay, guys, we can wrap up the session for today. Thank you so much for joining today's session. Wishing you a great day ahead. Bye-bye. Take care.